This month marks the 50th anniversary of 845 Naval Air Squadron, better known as the Junglies for their work in Borneo. The squadron also counts the Falklands War among its battle honours. Many veterans flew Wessex 5 helicopters in that conflict to great effect. Charlotte Cross went to their reunion at RNAS Yeovilton to meet them and she heard how one Wessex pilot had coffee on board an Argentine ship in the middle of the war. For these veterans, it's a chance to catch up with old friends and swap stories from Borneo to the Falklands to Afghanistan. 845 Squadron has an active history in all the major conflicts of the last 50 years. One of its proudest battle honours is the Falklands War. As young pilots, many of these veterans served there, flying the Wessex 5 helicopter. Resupply, moving the guns, ammunition, men. Um, supporting the special forces with their insertions and extractions from behind enemy lines, uh, just the normal utility tasks of the, of the commando forces of the day. As a 23-year-old pilot, Rick Fox was given just a week's notice to move down to the Falklands. On one unique occasion, he was tasked with flying a team onto an Argentinian hospital ship, which was suspected of running ammunition into Port Stanley. We approached alongside and they started to march us onto the back, so we decided to land on. Uh, they offered us coffee, the team did its inspection um, and then we departed. It was a yeah, bizarre experience but uh, to be honest they were very accommodating, the coffee was good. I think there was a, an interest in both sides if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah we were sort of semi-nervous um, but we were joined a little bit later on by a, a seeking from 846 assisted squadron just to make sure things were okay. So an interesting experience. Harry Benson was just a month out of training when he was sent to the Falklands. We flew these beautiful seven-ton machines. Um, we could plop a dozen troops in the back. Um, we flew them around, we got shot at, we watched out for enemy aircraft um, and um, we were, it was an extraordinary experience. We were young men, 21 year old, um, with amazing responsibility, flying on our own as well. One of the most daring rescues of the war happened on South Georgia when the SAS decided to march over the Fortuna Glacier to take the Argentines by surprise from the rear. Their plans were quickly scuppered by the weather and two of the Wessex which came to rescue them crashed. What happened next is widely hailed as one of the bravest actions of the war. The Wessex 3 uh, was already full of troops and had, there was nothing for it but they had to keep going back. Um, to the ship to go and drop off their passengers because there was no way they could rescue anyone else. And they then had the horror of having to go back and, and collect everyone else, so they had to go back up onto the mountains again. Amazing stuff, incredibly brave. The Falklands may have been one of history's shorter conflicts, but it's one that put Yeovilton firmly in the spotlight. And here at its permanent memorial, each one of these stones represents one of the 12 people based here who died. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Yeovilton.